Ladies and gentlemen, when thinking about the Nintendo Switch, you normally just think of three consoles, the Switch Lite, the Switch, and the Switch OLED, but you normally don't think about all these special edition Switches, and today I thought it would be fun to rank every single Switch from best to worst. So that's exactly what we're going to do, let's go ahead and get right into it. Yeah, there is so many Switches, and it's kind of overwhelming when you get into it, like, there's more than 10. There's more than 20. There's actually quite a lot. So we're going to go down them one by one and give them uh, a 1 to 10 ranking. But before we do that, the link is down below. Come and hang out on Twitch. Come and hang out with the community. It's a lot of fun. I would love to see you guys over there. Let's get right into this video. So normally when I do a video like this, would make an actual tier list. But for this video, we're just going to go down like pictures one by one and give our thoughts and opinions on them. Um, this is an article I have right here that is all the way updated till May. So this is right after the Tears of the Kingdom switch was announced. I do have a couple more pulled up right here that have been released since then. Let's just get into it though. So the first one they have right here, this is a special mention. This is not something you could buy in a store. This is the Trials of Mana Switch. This was only for a contest, I believe. You could either win this PS4, which kind of looks not great, but we're not here for that. But the Switch, I absolutely love this thing. But it does give you that feeling like they are really popular like two years ago you could buy skins like little stickers for your switch uh, you could probably still buy them on like amazon or something but i do like the back of this a lot um and the joy con colors so they have the tears of the kingdom switch at first i was not a big fan of this i like the dock um and the joy cons i just i wasn't a fan of them now that time has passed a little bit it's still not my favorite at all but i would give this a 7 out of 10 and that's coming from somebody who's a massive Zelda fan. We have the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Switch OLED. I think the back of the Switch is like black with like designs, like purple and red designs. It actually looks pretty cool. The Joy-Cons, bare minimum, and the dock, again, the coolest part. Um, I'm gonna have to give this one a six out of 10. The Splatoon OLED. This might have been the first special edition Switch OLED. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm not a Splatoon fan at all, but I think this is probably the best Switch OLED that we have. This is up there. The Joy-Cons go amazing. The dock is good. The back of the Switch, I can't remember what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to have to give this an 8 out of 10, dude. This one goes hard. It really does. So we have the Pokemon Switch Lite, and this is horrible. You can barely even see this. I think this thing is like actually like 300 bucks right now or something, like for a used one. I'm a big Pokemon fan. I would never spend money on this. This is a 4 out of 10, probably. Maybe, this is probably actually a 3 out of 10. I do like this one a lot more. I love the color of it. I like the buttons. The back is where it loses me. If they would have made the back like this, I can't remember which one of these Pokemon is blue or red, but I think this one is blue. If they would have made this like a blue outline and a red outline, this would have been probably a 10 of 10 in my opinion. The front is good and the back is bad. We're going to give it a 7 out of 10 strictly off the front. The Animal Crossing Switch. This was a big deal when this came out and they were kind of hard to find for a while. Now you can go to Target and still find them sometimes or like my local game store always has them for use for like 200 bucks, 250 bucks, which is pretty cheap. I can't remember if the actual Switch that's why it's so bad about this i can't see the back of them but i can't remember if the back of the switch is colored but the joy cons are nice and uh yeah this is a decent switch i'll give this one a 7 out of 10. the monster hunter rise switch a lot of people don't even know that this exists i was mentioning this somewhere and people were like i don't think that's a thing but i remembered this is the thing the dock is cool i don't think the back has anything on it except like some patterns and the joy cons are okay the dock is where we're getting all the points from this one, so this is a 5 out of 10 in my opinion. I thought this was for Mario Day, but they're saying this launched in February. Yeah, it's cool. I wish there was more going on, like the Joy-Cons should have been blue and the Switch red. That would have been cool. The dock is all red. At least they have this, uh, the grip blue, and, and it did come with a case. Um, I like when the strings are like different. I actually have the Skyward Sword Joy-Cons. And like the strings for these are like blue and white. They're so nice. Ah, there's so much to choose from. I'm gonna have to give this one a seven out of 10, but I probably feel more strongly towards a six. The Super Mario Odyssey Switch, which you may never even know that it's like a special edition. It's just the Joy-Cons are dark red. That's it. I don't even know if this came with it. Does it come with a digital? It says included. So I'm assuming it comes with a digital copy. Oh yeah, download code. Dark red Joy-Cons, copy of Mario Odyssey. Arguably probably the greatest Mario game ever created. Not my favorite, but probably the greatest. We're gonna give it a seven out of 10 because it's technically just red Joy-Cons. We're not talking about what's included. We're talking about just the Switch. It's just Dark Ride Joy-Cons. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Switch. I freaking love this Switch. 
I think this thing in box right now, I'll throw the price up on the screen. Uh, this thing is super freaking expensive. I love how Pikachu's just posted up a sucker for this one. I love the Joy-Cons, I love everything about it. Can't remember if the back has anything on it. Oh, a copy of the game is included too, but we can't. The switch back plate features various silhouettes of the two as well if you Pokeball scattered amongst them. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9 out of 10. It's almost a 10 out of 10. Almost there. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Switch. I've never even seen this one in person. Again, I'm not a fan of like just the black and gray because so much is lost in translation. Like you could have just outlined the characters or I don't know, you could have did so much and it would have just popped it and like we're getting all the points strictly off the design in this one, but it's like a 6 out of 10, dude. It really is. Diablo 3 Switch. This is something else people don't know that is even real, which is crazy. But yeah, there's not a lot on this one. The back, you can see the back barely right there. There's like a tiny little pattern on the back of the Switch, and then the dock has some stuff, and then the Joy-Cons are just gray, and it includes a case and uh, some Diablo games. This design sucks. It, it is what it is. This is a 5 out of 10. We have the Dragon Quest XI Switch. This was only released in Japan, I'm pretty sure, but you can still play like American games and stuff on it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm a huge Dragon Quest fan. Dragon Quest XI, one of my favorite experiences on the Switch. I don't know why it sucked me in so much, I just loved it. That being said, you can see some of the back right here has like a little pattern. The Joy-Cons, I like the blue, and uh, I can't think of this little, what the hell is this guy's name? Those little characters. Uh, yeah, slimes. I like the box a lot too. We gotta take the box in with everything, I guess. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10, just because there's a lot more that could have been done here, but I do appreciate f for what it is. The OG Splatoon Switch. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people even know this is the Splatoon Switch. It's just green and pink Joy-Cons. You'll see these used all the time now, and, uh, in, like, game stores. People just think, oh, look, a green and pink Joy-Con. Oh, yeah, and you could purchase them separately, so that was pretty cool, but... Yeah, this is like a 2 or 3 out of 10. It's just color Joy-Cons. This is the Disney Switch, and these Joy-Cons, just the freaking Joy-Cons, again, I'll throw the price up on the screen right now, are so expensive. Uh, this one is cool because it's like the little Mickey Mouse head right here. The pattern is, it is what it is. I'm a fan of the colors. I'm a huge Disney fan. I grew up in Orlando. My family works for Disney. Like, Disney's ingrained into my life. I'm not really a fan of this one. And it is crazy how expensive it is. But yeah, this is like a 4 out of 10, I guess. There's two Fortnite Switches. There's like one that has black Joy-Cons. I don't know if they're gonna show that one, but I do like these colors of these Joy-Cons a lot, especially the yellow. I freaking love the yellow. If I could just get two yellow Joy-Cons, I'd be so happy. The dock is where they're losing me. I just don't like the black on black or black on gray. Like it's, it is what it is. Um, and you know, I'm still a huge Fortnite fan. I don't care. I don't care about the stigma against it. I play it all the time. I think Fortnite is one of the greatest games ever created. What they're continuously doing with all the new IPs and updating it, it's just, you can hate all you want and that's fair, but it truly is one of the greatest creations in gaming history. That being said, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. So I'll give it a 6 out of 10. The only other points you're getting is the Joy-Cons. They have the Monster Hunter XX Switch. I don't know what that means. Monster Hunter 20? I don't know what the hell this means, but... So this was exclusive to Japan. I guess this is a game and a Switch that was exclusive to Japan. This is doo-doo. This gets a 2 out of 10. And then the Nintendo Labo. I believe there was only 10 of these created, uh, yeah, for a competition. It's believed to be under 15 that were created. I wonder who has one. Like, I wonder if there's somebody that has one and maybe won it in a contest and doesn't even know that it's rare. This is a 10 out of 10. This is our first 10 out of 10. I am absolutely in love with this. It's amazing to me. It's... It's just awesome. It looks like cardboard. It's so freaking cool. They should have sold these in stores, 100%, along with the Nintendo Labo stuff. And then recently we got the Mario Switch OLED. Um, it is just red again, with a red back. Nothing, no patterns, no anything. I would have loved for them to do red Joy-Cons and a blue back. I may have purchased another Switch OLED. Maybe, probably not, but... And then the back of the dock has little Easter eggs. It has a Mario right here and then the, the OG Mario coins. I believe I've seen somewhere else this cost 360 That's crazy. That can't be real. That's just not right. I, that can't be real. Because normally a Switch all over is 350 and the special editions are 360 It's like a, a 4 out of 10 just for being all red, I guess. And then we have the um, new Animal Crossing Switch lights. I absolutely love these. These are just, they're not anything crazy, but they are exactly what you need them to be. They have the leaf on the front. Um, the Animal Crossing leaves on the back and then they come with a copy of Animal Crossing Which this is basically three years too late, but it is what it is I guess time will tell to see if this pushes Animal Crossing higher up in sales But for what it is in the switch, um, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? 
I think there's actually way more switches that are like exclusive to other places that didn't come up on this list, but for what we have, I'm comfortable with these rankings. Down below, let me know what your favorite Switch is. And remember, if you enjoy gaming news, gaming stories, and Nintendo Switch content, then you're in the right place. So go ahead and hit a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram so we can keep the community growing. And you guys know me. I'll see you with a new video soon. Peace out.